We're gonna dive back into trying to get some more work done on that chicken coop. Previously on Life in Farmland. So we made some pretty good progress today. So the right first thing we gotta do is get some of this wire up around the edges here. This will actually be the door, and then we gotta get another one going around and basically to that post right there. We're putting half inch there. You notice the floor's actually got one inch. That's to allow the manure to drop right on through. So it's kinda nice. You don't actually have to run any pine shavings in there, and it's sort of a self-cleaning coop. So as I was getting ready to put this stuff together, I was a little surprised here. I was thinking what I'd do is actually connect it to that post right there, bring it around, connect it there, really secure it down. But after looking at it a little bit, the roll, granted there's that two by four on the bottom, but uh, it's not tall enough for this. Actually, you gotta take the and connect and run it going this way. So you gotta cut a strip for here, cut a strip for there, there, and then over on that side there. I think if you ended up going with a 36 inch roll, you could do the wrap method, but you know, it probably gets a little bit more expensive, but uh, I was just a little surprised by this design, but it'll work, just a little extra uh, stapling. So using these clamps right here are really helpful when getting this wire on here, trying to get it all nice and squared up. And then I can start securing everything as I work my way down. I utilize the weight of the actual roll uh, doing this. And then when I get to the point where I need to cut, I can just drop my hammer in there. It prevents the roll from rolling. Push it up real nice, figure out exactly where I need to make my cut, just follow the wire. I think we might end up actually just changing up one little thing here with that swiveling perch. I think one is we're gonna put some washers in there. I think we might change up the bolts a little bit here. Um, what do we got here? Maybe a two inch. I think two inch should be pretty good. I don't want it to be too long. I think an uh, inch and a half will be too short. Get some washers. Have four of these bad boys. We'll see how this works out.
Well, I did a little test run here with that basket there. Just to make sure we can get three of those in there. Marking the lines, everything. Everything should fit in there real nice, at least if it's that size right there. Then we got the swiveling perch here. Now we just gotta add just a little bit of extra support right here. So the back's on now, it's looking pretty decent here. I end up sticking a bunch of that foam stuff that went all the way across the post, the very bottom. Here it just kind of helps hold things in place a little better. Um, I also took a 2x4 to make things a little bit easier just to make sure this thing reached up enough where I could get connected onto this 2x2. Uh, two two. The one thing I wish I would have done a little better job at, so you can see the foam stuff here. It's like I just got to trim those off with the scissors. But I wish I would have came in with these screws that were going across. I wish I would have marked a nice straight line right off the bat here. There's just a little bit of a variation. No one's probably not going to notice, but I think it's just going to bug me. But hey, other than that, I think this thing's looking pretty decent. Now off to the sides. So those foam strips that I was talking about here, um, what I actually end up doing is kind of cheating a little bit. And I just use some masking tape to kind of help hold things in place uh, and get everything really nice and lined up. And then just kind of come back in here and peel that stuff off. system here. I didn't really want to start playing that stuff out until I actually had the wheels in hand here. last video I mentioned I was going to have to order up some tires since I couldn't find any tires larger than 15 inches locally. Did a little shopping around, had a real hard time finding anything, especially bike tires that were at a reasonable price. I don't know if a lot of the tires I was looking at were real specialty things, but even looking on eBay, uh, bike tires were relatively expensive. I ended up putting an order in and found a pretty good deal on some wheelchair wheels. So uh, that's what I, I ordered up. I ordered up some 24 inches. Afterwards, sitting and thinking for a few minutes, being that it's garage sale season right now, I probably could have gone and bought an entire bike for $5 and could have got two bikes, you know, for cheaper than um, what I did and then just scrap parts off of that. So that's something to keep in mind if, if you're looking to drive down the cost, uh, that might be an option for you. So I have to admit this has been taking a little bit longer than I expected to build. You know, a lot of times you can frame up a room in a house pretty quick putting studs up but there's just so many little small minor details that are involved with this getting the wire attached but i've been very impressed with justin's plans he must have put a lot of work into putting all this stuff together writing everything up getting pictures and then even just some of the planning that's involved in this trying to help drive down the cost for example being able to use you know two foot rolls of of wire instead of using 36 or 48 inches definitely helps drive down the cost now our little thing that he does in there is uh, buying two by fours and ripping those down to two by twos obviously you can buy uh, a two by four cheaper than you can buy two two by four so it's just these little small little details in there it's been a little bit of a, a different style of building than i'm used to i'm not used to utilizing a lot of those l brackets and and some of that stuff but i think things should be just fine 
One little tip if you're thinking about building this is really pay attention to your cuts early on. Like I mentioned earlier, there was, you know, you take two by fours, rip them down to two by twos. Let's say you don't take an account for the width of your blade or you get it right down the middle. That stuff could come back and bite you later down the road. For example, those perches that go across that we put on early on, and then you got other supports that actually build up and off the top of that. So if those are not consistent all the way across, you might have to make some little minor adjustments with some of those boards going up. So. So I think we'll wrap things up here. We gotta go down to the store, get some components to start putting together the axle system. I'm really glad I started this project early on just so I have plenty of time and the good part is the chickens aren't itching to get out to the coop yet. We still have time in that, in that department. So I'm glad I started things a little bit early here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.